look This the black holocaust I knew it was prophecy A thousand times worse than the Jewish atrocities Uneven playing field, there'll never be a fair score Cause in 1619, that's when they declared war We the 12 tribes, the ones that the promise reaches Hey, what's going on, brother? Man, chill, chill, you believe in the Bible, brother? Why not, man? I believe my black history, that's my black, that's my history And what if I told you black history is in the Bible? That's what I said, I believe in the Bible my history in the Bible as far as like the King James and all that shit uh -huh. and, 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 and the Adam shit, you know what I'm saying, that part, you know what I mean, I believe in the mythical shit. Mythical sense? Well, I'm not going to blame you for that, but I just want to get on something called a prophecy. You know what a prophecy is? Something that's said beforehand that happens later on down the line. Right, 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 right. So there's a particular prophecy I want to read you. Yeah. And I'm not going to explain it. I, I want you to interpret it on your own. Yeah. And then you can let me know if this, is, this happened to our people as, as far as black history. We're going to get it real quick. I hope this resonates with you, man. And uh, if you don't mind, if you don't mind not smoking that, brother, okay. I, I would definitely appreciate that. Sure. Cigarettes or uh, carcin carcinogens is, is definitely poisonous to the air. But I'm gonna read this to you, brother. Read this: the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. What? 16. You can get to the point. Uh, verse 16. Kush. Uh, verse 68. My bad. I got my one in time. Uh, I only got have an extra one. I only got one. But you can go on. I, I got a website for you. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So, this is Moses. It's talking about Moses, right? You heard about Moses? You been to church before? Yeah. Okay, so you're familiar, but you know about the Israelites being laid out of Egypt, splitting the Red Sea, correct? So, after that, God sent Moses up to get the laws. He went down and he gave the Israelites the laws. So, he's giving them. If you break the laws, this is what's going to happen to you. So he says he's going to bring them to Egypt. So Egypt is what? What happened in Egypt? What happened in Egypt? Yeah, what happened to the Israelites in Egypt? They were in slavery in Egypt, right? Yeah, they grabbed them up. Yeah, so give me that. Exodus 20 and 2. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, read. Really? Out of the house of bondage. Bondage is synonymous as well. Somebody being locked up. Yeah, somebody being up. oppressed. Yeah, somebody being enslaved. So we're going to read this again. We're just going to interpret itself. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So Egypt is synonymous with bondage, correct? So the Lord's going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again with, with ships. With ships. So you're going to go into bondage on ships. That's what it just described. Go ahead. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and there, when you get off these, these ships, read, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Does this sound familiar? Of course. So when you get on the ships, you're going to be sold when you get off the ships to enemies. What does that sound like to you so far? So, I, like, I don't think it was no slave ships for real. Why do you think that? I think we were. I think. 90% of the slaves was locals. From America? Yeah. So I think they told us that story back. Can I, can I ask you a question? So in reference to that, you mean to tell me that white people came over here and we was, we was and already us on our own land, we couldn't escape from them? No, I, we did a deal. We was already mobbing like that. What you mean? Right? We was already doing, we was already doing shit like that. So we did a deal that backfired on us, what deal? right? We did it, we did it, we did it. It's the first peace treaty, right, with Morocco, right? The empire, of, it's the empire of Morocco, right? What, America? America, right, yeah, we never went nowhere, Morocco right? Morocco's in Africa? No, that's the kingdom of Morocco is in Africa. Morocco at this time, you know what I'm saying, and, and known, and known like, you know what I'm saying, uh, geolo the, geolo the, 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 the area that it, that it covered, right, was all the top of Egypt, all of all of uh, North, North America, Africa, North, North Africa, Africa, right, and uh, and over here. You feel what I'm saying? So, so like most of the brothers I know, they 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 they, they grandparents to tell you they was Indian. I, I believe that. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean. But but see, I asked over a hundred families. You know what I'm saying? In, in seven different states, right? Did nobody say they came from Africa? They didn't say well, Nigeria this, or none that's of that. That's modern history, though. But no, no, I'm saying no, no, no. This is this is this There's is some people this in the modern, shit I modern did myself, time, time right? Time. So I'm saying we I, we came from Africa, but but thousands and thousands of years ago, you know what I'm saying? Like Indians, 
They wasn't caught in yet. They, was, they, they, they caught anybody that was dark, right? They was going back and forth to Africa for thousands, thousands of years too. They, 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 they were going back and forth. I would say thousands of years. I mean, whatever. You don't even know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it was, right? They was they was already networking, right? I don't, so, I don't, I don't agree with the Morocco here thing. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't believe that aspect. I, I believe that. All over I believe here. I believe there was Indians here that they call Indians. Yeah, for sure. Right, right. We but we came from them. West Africa. But, but, but. A lot of them Indians are African, right? I can, I can, but I can, see, I can agree to that. Yeah, they, they, they got this, we're, we're, they we're, like we're the kids. Ones. We're kids, but they came over here first on their own. They yeah, didn't come yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, Black Queen Sheba had, had a tribe out here. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 they, they found, In Ethiopia? Yeah, she had a tribe. Look at that in First Kings. Hey, look, they, they found her, uh, her pyramid in the Grand Canyon. Now, it's a pyramid Queen on the top Sheba of the pyramid. pyramid. No, she didn't build one herself, basically. You feel what I'm saying? I'm saying on her but, behalf. Who built yeah, it? Yeah, it's, 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 I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know that. I don't know Where's anything. Where's Queen Sheba I from? I don't know anything, right? Where's Queen Sheba from? I don't know exactly where she's from. she's in the Bible, right? Yeah, I know she's in the Bible, for sure. Of course. How do, how do you know she came from? But, but she's people like Queen Khalifa, right? California was named after her, right? Yes. So, so, that's, I mean, it's just telling you right there that, that she comes from Africa. I went to the pyramid. I'm from St. Louis, right? Uh -huh. I went to the pyramid that's up there. Where? That's on the top of the Mississippi River, right? Uh -huh. Right on the right on the east, the east St. Louis, right? They said it's an Indian mound or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Right? Indians built it. Right, right, right. But who taught them how to build these pyramids? Do we have Here's white built There is white built Native Indians here. Right, right. Okay, here's what like, right? So, 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 so we live on this road here, that's right? Like, so like, Ultimately, African. no. The man, the man is like you can Back call Africans a modern term. I mean, I'm, just saying, I'm, I don't, I'm, not, I'm just saying, what we don't even call I already them know. African. I don't even know what they call them for real back there. I didn't live in, but I'm saying, they went I'm by, just they referring went by from, tribes. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm just referring to what we recognize there today, right? Yeah. But, uh, but I'm right. Uh, you know, so, so it ain't really like, so, you know. This is my question now. Where does the, the Moroccan thing come into play? If they were Indians? You know, what I'm saying like, is, what I'm saying point. is, right, the first documented peace treaty with America, the first, the first peace treaty, I mean the first treaty, not peace, the first treaty documented in America was the peace treaty they did with Morocco. Yeah. Hey now. Hey, what up? You know. Uh, my, my grandma was full blood Cherokee. I believe it. Right? So it's like, you know, I don't I haven't met too many brothers, right? That said they came from Africa, their great grandparents. Because we lost our history. Right. No, we didn't lose it, we just gotta find it. Right? We're found it after the But Bible, I did my own research. Don't know you were here, if you go back that many generations, right? You will start hearing people saying I come from these African countries. It wouldn't be but no It's end. impossible to go that far back, brother. No, it's like I'm talking about 200 years ago. How, how, how many grandparents? When we were supposed to be, when we were supposed to be. But, but. Come with us. I already know they own some shit. I'm 
not going nowhere with y'all. In the mass, you know what I'm saying, the migration somewhere, you know what I'm saying, to get hurt. I'm not gonna let them hurt me nowhere, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to kill me, no, no. So, 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 so I'm finna cut. Back to the, the script I read you, right? You leave the script I read you? That curse on the people? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah. So, But I don't believe in curse, though, no. You don't believe in curse? No, not at all. So killing each other, sleeping with each other as women? Having diseases and no, 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 curses. We we uh, we've been doing, going through that for over 40 we years. Right? That's the case. That's we're, we're, we're being oppressed by, by Caucasian. Jim Crow, yeah, he came over here and did that and told us he was going to So, how did, get, how did it get over us if we weren't cursed? But that ain't a curse. That's just somebody that can't come and manipulate the population. How can we can't do it? How can we can't do it right now? I don't mean cursed by your creator. I don't think well, my creator ever cursed, cursed you. I don't think my creator ever cursed you, bro. That is making sense, brother. All right. Oh, that's cool. What you got? Yeah, that was bad. Oh, is that what he was on? Yeah, that dude was bugged This is directed in the wrong way because I got a lot of brothers that are like, they from here, bro. Like, they really from here. They're, they're generational and everything, but it's just they look like Judah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, look like Reubenizer. Right. Yeah. 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 He might have been a good idea. Yeah. 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 Anyways, so, that, that brother was madness. Ninety percent of us got it. Bro, that's taking me. That's all. Bro, that, that's, that's ridiculous. But anyway, where are we at? Where the heck you on? I was going to cut him on the clean sheet. I was waiting for you to get that. Yeah. Anyways, let's go back to the lesson. Give me a... We were talking 6 and 9 and 12. I knew it was... Put that whole thing. Try like that. Negrify all the natives. The natives that aren't like natives. That aren't natives. They're Asians. Like, yeah, I heard The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. Yeah, I was going to return to his place, which is the heavenly realm, read. Till they acknowledge their offense. We got to acknowledge our offense, our sins. Period. Give me that in James uh, 5 and 16. Go ahead. And seek my face. And seek the most high's face, read. In their offense. In our affliction, what are we gonna do? They will seek me early. We're gonna seek them early at that point. So somebody said they believe in God, they don't pray them, don't do nothing, don't go to church. But not a problem. But they ain't doing what's right by God. As soon as they get shot, you go to jail. Oh, pray for me, bro. Pray. What? Wait a minute. You get all this dirt. Bring it out. You rob somebody, you serve somebody's yeah. wife, they just shot you, you live, you're in the hospital, you're in your deathbed. Now you wanna pray to God. Hey, put your status on Facebook, pray for this brother. What? What did you just do? No. Did he tell Ezekiel not to pray for them? Going to Jeremiah. Who was that? Jer he said, Jeremiah, don't pray for these people. They told him. Hold that. Let me go back to that real quick. James 5 and 16. Uh -huh. Confess your faults one to one another. Confess our faults one to another. That's how you repent. We are official. We're going to seek the most high early. First, we got to confess our faults. One to another, read. And pray for one another. Uh, we gotta pray for one another, because we have the spirit of grace. Even though people might be two third, we don't know who's two third or not. Well, so I can bug me out next week or something like that. Go ahead. That ye may be healed. Uh-huh, ye may be healed, read. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. Yeah, the prayer of a righteous man, read. Availeth much. Availeth much is gonna achieve what it needs to achieve. Because it says, I think it's in uh, Baruch. Uh, the prayers pierce the clouds of the people that, that are going to most high. Give me that. No, give me that first. Give me that first. First Corinthians 1 and 13. Uh-huh. Is Christ divided? Is Christ divided? Are we telling the truth or the Christian church telling the truth? Who's right? We both got it Bible, right? This is what the Christian church think. They they say over rights and whatnot. God's all love, but guess what? God's about judgment and uh and, 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 uh, and uh, what's, what's going on, brother? You have a question, man? You have, a, you have a question, brother? You gotta say something. You heard of Israelites before? Oh, for real? What you know about the Israelites, brother? We're cursed people. Hey, that's that's true. Why why are we cursed people? Yeah, you're right. All right. How long do you know about the information, brother? Seven years. So you you represent the Israelite nation, right? We keep the laws of God. Yeah. Keep the laws? Yeah. How old are you? 21. So you know you used to do 14? Yeah. Yeah, that's powerful, brother. I ain't gonna lie. That's powerful. All crazy. Are you teaching other people to do what you do? 
Why not? You familiar with the information? You want to know? We got to get it by as a nation, not as individuals. You got to care about the people to tell them what's going on. What's stopping you from doing that? You believe, you believe in Christ, right? And Christ said what? You got to go to the highways and byways and bear people to the marriage. That marriage is what? Back to the most high. And eventually, the world of Christ and the kingdom of heaven. You got to tell people to repent from their wicked ways and get right for death today, right? That's the goal, right? To avoid that second death and get beaten up in the chairs and quote unquote UFO. Oh, I just got a question. What's that? So. Revelations chapter 20 and verse 14 and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death read it again for death and hell death and hell read were cast into the lake of fire so hell is supposed to be where you burn forever right but it just said hell is going to be cast into the lake of fire how does that work does that make sense? Because you know why? Hell is the condition and also the grave. Hell is more for the grave in the Hebrew context, the Hebrew definition. So hell in this context, people that died, and the second death is what? It's going to be thermonuclear fire. The most high is going to send thermonuclear fire on America. This is the most wicked nation on earth. Do you believe that? So, well, here's the thing. We're gonna read about the two thirds right here. It's gonna, it's gonna be a similar, similar context. Read that. Zechariah third, thirteen and eight. Isaiah fifty nine. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass. It come to pass is a future prophecy. Read that in the land. In the land, which is America. Read. Saith the Most High. Uh huh. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts therein. Two parts of therein. It's gonna elaborate. Read. Shall read that again? Read that part again? Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts therein will be cut off and die. Read. But the third shall be left therein. So two out of three equals what? What's two divided in three? 66.6, right? Number of the man. That's what it's talking about in Revelation. No. But it's separate. Separ 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 Finish that out? But you're talking about two thirds of nations in Israel. So keep reading. I want to get that. And I will bring the third part. I'm going to bring the third part. One third of Israel, read. Through the fire. Through the fire. What fire is that? It's talking about thermonuclear fire. We don't get to it. Read. And will refine them as silver is refined. Uh huh. And will try them as gold is tried. Read. And they shall call on my name. We're going to call it the Most High's name, who's the Howard. Read. And I will hear them. Uh huh. I will say. It is my people. It is my people, the Israelites, read. And they shall say, Yahweh is my power. Yahweh is our power. So two thirds of Israelites will die in America, but they're going to be reborn once the kingdom of heaven is established. You believe that? We don't, we don't get to the precept. Listen to this. It's going to elaborate how we're going to be rebuilding the kingdom of heaven. Lots of children. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49 and verse 20. Uh huh. The children with thou shalt have. The children which we shall have which is in the kingdom, read. After thou hast lost uh -huh. the other. We lost the other. Talk about the two thirds. We lost them for the kingdom, read. Shall say again uh -huh. in thine ear. We're going to say to them what? The place is too straight for me. The place is too straight. Talking about the land is going to be too straight. It's going to be too crowded because the overpopulation will really procreate so much. The, the two thirds are going to be populating the earth or in our land. Places will be too tight for them to live there, read. Give place to me that I may dwell. Give place that we may dwell. Because the earth was given to all for our sake. As it says in second verse. We're going to rule the earth. We're going to live wherever we want to live. But the nation of Israel is going to own the land of Israel outright at that time. And our children are going to be reborn. Two-thirds are going to be in that future kingdom. What does that say? So, 
myself that say nine heart. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Then shalt thou say in thine heart, who hath begotten me these? Who have begotten these children, read. Seeing I have lost my children. See, I have lost my children, read. And I am desolate uh -huh. and captive, read. And removing to to and fro. Yeah, we removed to and fro to every nation in captivity through our transgressions, read. And who hath brought me up these? Uh -huh. Behold, I was left alone. These were had they been. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles uh -huh. and set up my standard to the people. Set up a standard, talking about Yahweh, shall I read? And they shall bring thy sons in their arms uh -huh. and thy daughters, and they be carried upon their shoulders. Yeah, the kings will going to be carrying us to the kingdom. So they're going to be serving us. Read. And kings shall be thy nursing, uh -huh. thy nursing fathers. Read. And their queens, thy nursing mothers. The heathen gonna serve us, read. They shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth. Hey, the heathen nation gonna bow down to us and do what? And lick up the dust of thy feet. They're gonna lick up the dust of our feet. Don't you want that, brother? You wanna be ruling of the other nations, especially the so-called white men that enslaved your ancestors? Beat us, rob us, put us in jail, kill us. That's 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 my goal. Give me that rock 25 and 7. That's right. All right. Our objective is to teach our people to repent. As you know, you're familiar with this race already, but you gotta teach other people. People might think you're crazy. I've been called crazy. I've been called insane for teaching this knowledge. But I don't care because the most I put the spirit on me, we didn't know this stuff. And it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. It resonates with me. And it's history, it's prophecies, archaeology, it proves everything that we can go into. So rock 25 and 7. This, this is what should be on your mind as well. That'd be even more motivational teaching. So rock 25 and 7. There will be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. There's nine things that judge in my heart to be happy. What? Read. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. Go ahead. A man that had joy of his children. That's one thing to be happy about, read. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. That's right. Right. Uh, That's right. We want to live to see the fall of the enemy. That put us in slavery. That sit our presence on a daily basis. Uh, we want to see this white man's kingdom crumble, man. That's, right, that's right. how it works. They're not our friends, they're not our buddies. We might work with them, we have to play sports with them, that's fine. At the end of the day, I'm going to separate from them, do my thing. At the end of the day, they don't believe what we believe. That's right. I don't kick you off the guys. They're not going to avoid birthdays or Christmas or Easter. We don't separate all them things that were set up as pagan deities and holidays. We don't want to do that. We don't want to celebrate the laws of God and a few things in the Bible. That's the right. Passover, first fruits, Pente or Pentecost, uh, uh, What's the other one? Peace of Tabernacle. Day of Atonement. Those holy days are the most high place in the holy world. Somebody said, brother, you familiar with all this stuff. Do you have any questions, bro? Did I answer your question about the second death? What? Hey, man, go back to Ukraine, man. Go, go shake hands with Putin and tell him to press the button, man. I don't understand what you're talking about. I just want to know what's the market of Is it like this? Market of Oh, let's get that. Really some 13. Somebody get, get the degree. You get Revelation 13. Yeah, you've been watching for seven years, brother. You should know a little right. bit. I, I, I just want to hear y'all already understand. But I was taught it was like a lifestyle. 13 to 16. Oh, really? Oh. So wait a minute. Give me Revelation 14 and 9. Check that out. So we go, we go, we, I want you to make sense of this. I want you to put it together and make sense of what, you're of what, what you were talking about. So didn't they say like, Ecclesiastic, that's not necessarily the Uh, not necessarily. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about uh, the song. It says, whoever basically departs from the ways is lives like in the beast or something like that. It's like a beast that perish. So, I mean, that has nothing to do with the mark of the beast. Because the mark of the beast is something that's difficult. That's why he marks you, like, spiritually. Uh, the most high marks are spiritually, but not the same. We get that, what we got? Rose and Horty? Give me uh, Ezekiel 4, real quick. We don't get the Revelation first, give me that. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 16. Read. And he causeth all, both small and great, uh -huh. rich and poor, Read. free and bond, Read. to receive a mark in their right hand. So wait a minute, you don't receive a mark in your right hand, but you're saying that it's something that is a lifestyle. How do you receive a lifestyle in your right hand? He was speaking metaphorically, like not literary. So your interpretation of that is living a wicked like, lifestyle. Right here, like you said, the most. We're gonna finish it out. Let me let me get your preference on this or perspective on this. Read to receive a mark in their right hand uh -huh. or in their forehead. Read 
and that no man might buy or sell save he say save he that had the mark so you're not gonna be able to buy or sell but we should live a certain lifestyle is that what you're saying how is somebody supposed to know how to live a lifestyle that they can't see spiritually how's that work oh it's not big enough oh True. They, they will. See you, the True. But what does that have to do with something spiritual? That's not anything spiritual you're talking about. If, what if I don't go to the female cancer or do anything like this? Well, do I, is that market to be still? I if you're in sin. If you're in sin. So if I'm in sin, wait a minute. If I'm in sin and I go to the female cancer, they're going to feed me in shelter. The sinners get fed in shelter? That makes sense, brother. If you're in sin, I mean, the most high will forsake you and judge you. Not put you in a fever camp, because fever camp, ultimately, it's going to be like a, uh, some type of bondage. But they're going to offer you, they're going to entice you with certain things to make you go. You know, have a famine, have the food and water. But they're already doing it right now. But they're going to entice you, hey, if you want food and shelter and health care, take this mark, come in here, get you some food and shelter for the rest of the time. And guess what? It's a trick. Because not nothing spiritual, it's something physical. We're going to prove it. Is that it? Yes, Look, give me Revelation 14 and 9. And you give me uh, Ezekiel 4. Okay. No, no, we don't get the Greek word. Greek word for Mark. Uh, this is the uh, Greek word for Mark. Karagma. Karagma. A stamp. A stamp. An imprinted mark. An imprinted mark. A mark stamped on the forehead on the right hand. So if you stamp something, is that spiritual? I have a stamp on an envelope. That's still sit on their physical, right? Mark branded upon the horse. A brand. A brand. You know how you brand the horse? That, that's a spiritual brand. That's something different now. That ain't talking about something different. That's what we got this Go ahead. It comes from the root word karak. Karak, see? A pale. A pale. Steak. A steak. What do you do with a steak? Like a vampire with a steak, but a steak to a vampire heart. That's the steak. That's what it's talking about. Or you have a tit, you put a steak to a tit. Something physical, brother. Go ahead. Uh, a palisade or a rampart. Uh huh. That's it. So give me Revelation 14. Or, or pales between the earth and uh, stones. Pales between the earth and stones, so you can crack it through something. Something that's spiritual. It's not anything uh, it's just, that's read through somebody's mind. Because if you're in sin, nobody knows what, you're, what a sin is unless you're in this way for the most part. But the average Joe Smo doesn't know they're in sin. So if they don't take the mark of the beast and they're still in sin, like how does that work? That makes sense. Four and nine of them. Give me that Revelation fourteen and nine. So now also into the mark. Nine and fifty. Sure. Revelation fourteen and nine. So the mark of the beast, something spiritual. Then you gotta explain this. Go ahead. And the third angel followed him. Saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, if any man worship the beast, read and his image, and his image, and receive this mark. So it was three separate things. Worshiping the beast. Uh, what does it say? Read it again. Worship the beast. Worship the beast. And his image. And his image. And receive this mark on his forehead or his hand. And you receive the mark on the right hand and forehead. Read. The same shall drink of the wine. Of the wrath of God, which uh, is poured out without mixture, you know, judge, read, into the cup of his indignation, uh -huh. and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone uh -huh. in the presence of holy angels. So, this is the question I have: If Mark of the Beast is sin, if we're if out here teaching people, right? We're teaching people, hey, don't sin. But it says, if you're, if you're, if you're making it seem like it's sin. How, why would he teach people not to sin if it's too late? If you're saying sin is the mark of the beast, that means nobody can repent. That means they're all, we're all doomed for judgment. Right. We can't repent, we can't do anything well, to get right with the most high. Yeah, this is great Wait a minute. What happens if it's still sin? But wait a minute, when did the mark of the beast start? When did that come about? We've been sinning since Cain, since Cain, 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 so, the mark of the beast back then? Who's the beast? Who's the beast back then? Whoa, wow. Where does it say that in the Bible? Oh, wait a minute. You ain't see what that's the mark? Cain had the mark of the beast? Yeah, Cain had the mark. What mark did he have? Oh, I don't know. 
Yeah, because yeah, right yeah. after that, the flood happened, right? So what happened? Where did the mark go? Yeah, what happened? The, the flood came. Came was cut off. What happened? Where did, how did it come back in the flood? It came back in Esau, right? Came, came back in Esau? I, I can admit that, spiritually. So, Esau has the mark in the middle. Yeah, Who's Esau? Yeah. Who's Esau? Yeah. Correct. So how do you get the mark of the beast? Who's the beast? Does the nation itself, the nation of Esau, is the beast? So, <laughs> all right, brother. So you're saying it's sin now, right? Now you're saying it's Esau. You got to gotta put this together for me, brother. I'm not, I mean, he's the biggest. You got to so let me know how it works. Because now you're not making any sense. So wait a minute, is it, is it sin or is it Esau? Because that's a different thing. You gotta make it be mine, So, I'm, I'm gonna need though. If we're gonna be sin or something spiritual, there's no reason for us to be teaching this, bro. Because there is no grace in that. Because most of our promise, if you worship the beast or take the, take the mark, you're gonna be judged. So, where, how can how they get the grace state or repent if, if you already sin? If you're a sinner, at least you're already gonna be judged. You got that disease with mine? We don't get the mark of the most high. This is the mark of the most high. We don't get the, get the Hebrew for that. Ezekiel 9. Give me that. Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. Read. And the Lord said unto him, uh -huh. Go through the midst of the city, uh -huh. through the midst of Jerusalem, Go ahead. and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. So the most high said, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. Read. For all the abominations that been done in the midst thereof. So, so if you're sighing and crying for abomination, that means you're not in agreement with it, right? So that means you're on the right side of things. You're not in agreement if you're sighing against abomination. We're doing that. So let's get the Hebrew for the word mark in this verse. Is that it? This is it. There's a Hebrew word for mark. The Hebrew word for mark. Read. It's H uh, 8420. Uh -huh. And it's Thawah. Read. It's desire. Uh -huh. Mark. It's a desire. Mark. It's still a mark. What does it say? Mark of exemption. And a mark of what? A sign of exemption from judgment. Uh, if you have an exemption from judgment, if you're signing crying against abomination. So it's not physical. The whole time mark is so spiritual. Hey, show on, brother. Show on. But that's how it works, brother. The mark of the most high is something spiritual. The mark of Esau is physical. The mark of the beast. Karagma, the Greek word karagma, means a stamp and tail, something printed, or something that you got to, uh, uh, what do you say about a, a horse? You, uh, you basically put a, a, a stamp on it, like a, a, graven, a graven stamp. That's how you know the mark of the beast is something physical. The RFID is just weird that, right? So it can't be sin, but it's a sin. The way the sin are kept, but if we're in a grace period, and technically, if you can't repent from sin, it doesn't add up. Because when you stand in the beast, nobody can repent, everybody through some judgment. But the image, the image is what? The doctrine, that's the image. You know, the doctrine that they teach. Teaching that Jesus like Christmas, taking out his crime. That's the doctrine that they, you know, Esau places on earth. Homosexuality, that's the image of the beast. Give me that in uh, uh, Romans right. uh, 8 29. So let's prove what the image that we're supposed to be looking for. This is how you learn. You got a fire, brother? You got a fire? Oh, yeah. Okay. Romans 8 and 29. Uh -huh. For whom he did foreknow. Read. He also did predestine. Talking about the Israelites and the elect. Read. Predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. So the people that are predestined will be conformed to the image of Christ. So is that image the same image as Esau's image? I would say it is. Because the doctrine of things. Christ taught the law. Esau don't teach the law. We're conformed to an image, and it says you won't worship the image or accept the image of the, of the beast. The image of the beast is what? Their philosophy. The image of Christ is what? The philosophy of the Most High. It's the laws of God. We're conformed to the laws of God, so we want to be righteous as the Most High saw Christ. Go ahead. That he might be the firstborn among, uh, among many brethren. Yeah, the firstborn of many brethren, the elect, the 144,000. Now, Christ is obviously the only God's son, the uh, perfect person that walks the earth uh, for us to be an example for us. You may have First Peter uh, 2 and 21, and that's the image we're supposed to perform, the image of Christ. Do you agree? Does that make sense, brother? Do you, 
that that is that a better breakdown for you? You ready? Do you get that understanding, brother? Decision, right? The RFID chip. That's what it is. Keep that in mind. We're gonna raise one more. I know if you gotta go. You don't gotta go. You got another question? Alright, we're gonna read this. Read. Give me Sirach 23. The book of First Peters, chapter 2 and verse 20, 21. Uh, For even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. Leaving us an example uh -huh. that ye should follow his Christ steps. Left. Christ left an example for us to follow his steps. What? Keep Christ. going. Who did no sin. Christ did no sin. Read. Neither was guile found in his mouth. No guile was found in Christ's mouth. Go ahead. Who when he was reviled, uh -huh. reviled not again. Uh -huh. When he suffered, he he threatened it not. Read. But committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. He committed himself to God that judges righteously. Read. Who his own self bear our sins uh -huh. in his own body. Go ahead. On the tree that we, being dead to sin, we were dead to sins, read, should live unto righteousness. We were supposed to live in a righteousness as Christ being his perfect sacrifice, having that second chance. Now we are in grace period, we're not supposed to sin no more, but at the same time, we had to follow Christ's steps and walk perfectly like he did. Go ahead. By whose stripes ye were healed. Yeah, we're healed by Yahweh Christ's stripes. We have a chance to be renewed and get back into the race all the time. That's our goal coming out of here. These brothers like yourself, who already knows a little bit, but you gotta refine that doctrine. That great the doctrine. You know, you can watch some Safari videos. We're from Safari. So, you know, watch our videos instead of, you know, having people get better at the Go ahead. Sirach 23 and 27. Uh -huh. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of Yahweh. Yeah, nothing better than the fear of the Most High Yahweh, read. And that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of Yahweh. Yeah, nothing sweeter than to take heed to the commandments. That's our original uh, uh, covenant with the Most High. Follow the laws of God, read. It is great glory to follow Yahweh. Uh -huh. And to be received of Him is long life. To receive the Most High is long life. And that's what we want for our people. The elected one third at this point in time, oh, we'll get that number. The young brother like himself has learned since he was 14. Which is powerful. That's powerful, man. A lot of 20 year olds could be doing whatever, partying up, selling drugs. I wish I, I was doing it at your age. I ain't noticed all I wish I noticed all back then. I had a whole different outcome. But at the same time, the most I had a plan for me, had a plan for the people that are ordained to get this knowledge and word. Right. Got predestined to perform the image of Christ. And our people got to learn sooner than later and repent because the kingdom has the hands and just coming. Our people got to wake the hell up. Well, we're going to close out the ball praise on the glory. We're going to help out to the outside. We're going to say shout out.